Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is Colin Decker. I'm on uh, Sailing Bell, Catalina 25 sailboat. Um, today we're going to be discussing uh, some new improvements I'm doing with my electrical system on the boat. Uh, the previous owner had some really old batteries on there, um, a very inefficient way of charging them, um, and I wanted to make this improvement over the summer, or uh, the winter here, uh, so we're ready for summer, and um, be ready to go. So let me show you what we got. Uh, so I purchased two new Duracell uh, batteries, 12-volt batteries. One is a marine an RV starting and cycling, and the other is the deep cell. Um, I'm using the deep cell as my uh, house battery, and obviously the starting battery to start my 9.9 .9 Yamaha high thrust motor. Uh, my Yamaha 9.9 .9 has a six amp uh, alternator in it that will be charging these two batteries while it's running. Uh, so what we've done, I've taken my switch off the boat. Um, didn't feel like buying a new switch. This switch works perfect. Uh, and I've mounted that on this board. This board is going to be a portable board. It allows me to bring it home during the winter and keep it on the boat during sailing season. Um, what this is allowing me to do here is all my load goes to the switch. So if we turn it on to our house battery, that's number two. Our new battery monitor that will, I'll be installing on the boat is down here. And currently I do have some 12 volt load hooked up to an uh, inverter as some test load. Uh, one thing I purchased this year that I was really interested in was the Smart Battery battery Isolator. And for all you guys that don't know what that is, is it allows the starting battery to be charged. And once the starting battery is fully charged and it's in charging mode, uh, being charged at the time, it will turn on and uh, swap over and charge my house battery. That's what this LED light here means. It's currently charging. I'm using a, uh, a charger here just to simulate some 12 volt voltage to it. Um, this can be isolated by swapping this switch here and that turns it off. And now just my starting battery is currently being charged or float right now. So what, what does that mean? So it allows you while you're on the water that if your one battery is being used as a house battery and you're spending the night on it and you're using all kinds of electronics, lights, everything else, your house battery is going to be uh, drawing, being been drawn from and your starting battery is going to always be charged. Okay. Um, and yes, I could do that with the switch, but this just gives me a peace of mind that it's automatic. Um, it automatically charges both batteries when it's in charging mode. It makes sure that my, tr my battery that is being charged is fully up to charge before it even attempts to charge my second battery. Um, one of the other nice things that I did this year was get the um, Amazon battery monitoring system and I'm actually pretty impressed by it I will admit um, uh, I saw a lot of YouTube videos where people said that they weren't uh, too happy with it they don't think that the amperage was correct um, they don't think that it's a great little monitor this is a $20 monitor so I'm not talking I spent a lot of money this is something just to show me uh, what my voltage is roughly how many amps I'm using, uh, how many watts I'm using, and uh, this monitor also allows you to see your total number of watts, uh, or a total number of amps, I'm sorry, um, that you've used over a current period of time. Um, 
So just to show you, right now I got 13.3 volts on my load and I'm drawing about 773 milliamps. So that would be 0.77 amps. Um, a lot of people don't know, but measuring DC amperage can be a little tricky. Uh, typically the meters need to be zeroed out. So you can see I've just turned my meter on here and it shows 0.94. So you must zero the meter out first. So we're gonna zero it out and then we're going to put it on the load, uh, the line side of our negative. We're at 0.85, we're showing 773. This can be slightly off by the way that you move this amp meter. You can notice now it's down to 7.6, 7.7. It all depends on where and how this uh, amp meter is close to the CT there. Also, you'll notice that if you put it on the other side of the shunt, the shunt comes with the battery meter. And the shunt allows the battery meter to uh, measure the current that's running. So if you put it down here, you'll notice it gets a lot higher. That's because there's a resistance inside of this. So if you increase resistance, you increase amperage. Okay, not by much because it's a very little resistor, but it will increase. Uh, just another test here. I also have put it on voltage and it's currently showing we're at 13.1 volts. And if I test it, we're at 13.17 volts DC at the meter. Okay, so it's a nice little meter. Um, I installed it in this box. I wanted to keep it very small. Uh, I wanted to keep it portable, so if I want to take it off or remove it, it's not a major um tear down it's not going to be a huge hole in my panel all that um i'm just going to mount this box with just a couple screws and a small hole in the back to run the wires through all right so yeah again this switch is great because i can go to both so if i'm sitting in the water and i'm doing an overnight and i want to use both batteries uh, to make sure that my lights never go out, my, you know, I'm going to run a TV on the boat, things like that. If I want to run all that and I don't want to have to, any concern about my capacity of batteries, I can just turn them on both. And I will always have uh, plenty of amperage uh, left in the batteries, uh, or amp hours, I should say, left in the batteries. So um, I can run all night long. My Yamaha 9.9 .9 does have a pull start. Uh, so I can always pull start the engine and allow that to uh, charge my batteries back up. Um, but yeah, you can see even putting it on two, uh, or sorry, both batteries, we are now at, um, our voltage has come up a little bit because it's showing both. If we come over here, we'll put it back on two. This is again my house battery. And we turn our isolator on. Again, we're still charging here. Um, let me force the charge. So there you see. So the battery isolator came on because it's on charge right now. And it's now charging my second battery. This does cut out at 12.8 volts unless you cut it off with the switch itself. Uh, I installed the switch, so if the batteries are sitting for a while, I have no charge on them, nothing like that, that little LED isn't gonna be running down my batteries. Um, it takes the complete load out of the isolator and it allows the batteries just to sit completely off with no problems. Um, I will include a wiring diagram 
um, in this video so everybody can kind of see how it's wired up. And uh, thanks for checking us out. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And I can't wait to get this little piece installed on the boat. Thank you.